dear students as part of the data sources will be covering in this module the civil registration system in india the major learning objectives of this module is to discuss about the structure the type of data collected and the publications related to various vital statistics of population data india has a long tradition of registration of vital events like births and deaths and the administrative machinery for this purpose has been in existence for over a century in the beginning only deaths used to be registered with a view to assessing the health situation and hence emphasis remained on collection of statistics on deaths at that time the sanitary commissioner of the government of india who was responsible for the administration of public health in the country used to obtain information on deaths by causes like cholera smallpox plague fever etc from the provincial sanitary commissioners the quality of data collected nonetheless was highly deficient and incomplete in 1868 the government of india directed the sanitary commissioners to prepare a series of forms for the collection of vital statistics in respect of the general population with regard to births very little was said the erstwhile central province of berar was the only one which had gone ahead with the introduction of a system of registration of births as early as in 1866 which had gone ahead with the introduction of a system of registration of births as well as in 1866 punjab and united provinces followed later on in 1973 the bengal births and deaths registration act were subsequently extended to the neighboring states of bihar and orissa the indian famine commission laid stress on the collection of accurate vital statistics throughout the country the important recommendations of the commission mainly included compulsory registration of births and deaths in the country monthly publication of vital statistics and analysis of the data that is was collected during that period in 1886 the government of india enacted the births deaths and marriages registration act to provide for voluntary registration of births deaths and marriages throughout the country the act had very little application and remained a dead letter as far as the general population was concerned in the case of urban areas registration was carried out under municipal bylaws and in the rural areas on the basis of executive orders and instructions to the village level officials under the revenue codes and police manuals several commissions and committees were set up for improving and strengthening the vital statistics system in the country mention may be made of the health and survey and development committee popularly known as bhor committee as early as in 1946 which had made several recommendations for re-establishment of a proper system of collection and compilation of vital statistics in the country as a result of these recommendations the responsibility of for collection of vital statistics like births and deaths which had been vested with the director of health services was transferred 
at the beginning of 1960 to the Registrar General, India. In 1886, Government of India introduced Births, Deaths and Marriages Registration Act, which served very little purpose for registration under this act was purely voluntary. In urban areas, registration of vital events was routinely carried out under the municipal bylaws, while in rural areas, this was done by rural officials under the revenue codes and police manuals. By 1903, about 80% of the census population of India was covered by the registration system. The coverage and quality of data were not good for more emphasis was placed on obtaining information of deaths and causes of deaths than on other vital events. This is quite understandable because the objective was to control diseases and epidemics. Several commissions such as Royal Commission on Agriculture 1924 and the Royal Commission on Labor 1928 have made important suggestions for improving the scope and quality of vital statistics in the country. As a result, effective steps were taken to improve the quality and coverage of vital statistics in urban areas. All the progress made so far in the direction of improvement of the vital statistics registration system, however, came to a standstill following the Second World War, at the end of which was completely shattered. The Health Survey and Development Committee, popularly known as the Bohr Committee, after its chairman, Sir Joseph Bohr, which was set up in 1946, has deplored the state of affairs in this field and made several suggestions for its reconstruction. It must also be noted that up to 1921, the population of India was increasing at a slower rate and the problem of its growth had not become formidable, mainly because the fertility and mortality were very high and due to which the difference in these vital events, which comes to be as the calculation of growth rate, was very low. The realization that the population was growing at an alarming rate came only after 1951, mainly because the difference in birth and death rates started widening. A great need was then felt to have correct information on the growth of population for planning, for economic and social development. It was also realized that Vital statistics should be the responsibility of some official organization involved in census operations rather than that of the sanitary commissioner or of the director general of health services. After realizing this, in 1960, the responsibility was vested in the registrar general who was also the census commissioner of India. There has been no uniform legislation relating to a compulsory registration of births and deaths on an all India level for a long time, a fact which hampered improvement in the registration of various vital statistics. The Registration of Births and Deaths Act passed in 1969 extends to the whole of India and makes the registration of births, stillbirths and deaths compulsory. The Registrar General of India is the central controlling authority in charge of the vital registration system. He is responsible for the consolidation 
and the tabulation of the registered data at this national level. He is also interested with the task of evaluating and promoting the registration system in the various states and union territories. In each state, the chief registrar is in charge of the civil registration system. The major aspects that are covered mainly refers to that the items of information collected in the registration records are births or stillbirths, the characteristics of the event with a date of registration, date of birth, sex, place of birth, order of live births, type of attention at a delivery. Also, the characteristics of mother and father like literacy level, occupation, status, nationality, religion, age of mother at confinement are also covered as part of the fertility. In the case of deaths, the major characteristics of event related to, for instance, date of registration, date of death, place of death, cause of death, type of medical attention received are important in addition to the characteristics of the deceased like age, sex, marital status, religion, nationality, occupation. These are very important indicators that captures the vital information about the deceased. Next follows is about the tabulation. The important indicators when it is captured and when it is registered, how the data has to be presented. That is the main aspect of tabulation. The office of the registrar general brings out a volume titled Vital Statistics in India, weekly as well as annually. The table below shows the various tabulations of registration data published by the Central Office of Registrar General. The various list of items of tabulation of births and deaths clearly reflects about how the data flow is maintained and also the way in which it has been tabulated is uh, understandable. What are the various problems of civil registration system in India? Though any failure to register births and deaths is punishable by law, the coverage of registration of vital events in India is far from satisfactory. Because of underreporting, the rates derived from registered vital events presents a very distorted picture which clearly reflects on the fact that they are under enumerated, the data gives a very, very uh, different way when we see from the field point of view. According to a survey conducted in Madras city in Tamil Nadu in uh, 1966 by the census department, it was shown that as many as 27 percent of the deaths were not reported. The extent of non-reporting of vital events is found to be very high, especially in the rural areas. One of the basic reasons for this deficiency in Indian vital registration systems is mass illiteracy and the rural character of the population. As most of the household members, they are not aware of the importance of reporting the births and deaths naturally it reflects on lot of under enumeration and thereby the data becomes a very, very deficit in terms of its accuracy. The importance of the registration of vital events is neither realized by the masses nor by the local registration authorities. 
this is another important factor that local registration authorities also are not aware or not uh, understandable to say that these are very important for registration point of view. For most of the Indian people, few occasions arise when births and death certificates are required. It is therefore not surprising that they do not appreciate the necessity of registering vital events. And uh, in this regard, it is very important that for instance, when the school child has to be admitted in a particular school, one of the important requirements is submitting a birth certificate. Similarly, if uh, the death certificate is uh, not provided, pensions and other aspects related to the properties or the assets cannot be transferred to the legal heirs. And in that regard, these vital registrations are very, very important and given the diversity and heterogeneity of our population and also having a worldwide very high population of uh, the world when we look at which is located in a country like India, it is a huge problem that people are not aware and they will not find its importance for them to go and register these vital events. And only the realization comes when such certificates are very important in their uh, vital aspects like school registration and for getting a pension or for getting some of the other related certificates. That time it is very, very important for the households and also for the members, other family members to come and meet the concerned revenue officials for getting these things. Also, the local registration authorities or at panchayat level will not be clearly aware of, even if they are aware of, they will not be serious enough to register the vital events like births and deaths. And in this process, lot of underreporting takes place and that is why the data that is comes out through the civil registration system like births and deaths becomes a very, very insufficient when we plan and allocate resources on the basis of it and look at this data as part of official statistics, it becomes a very, very deficient for utilization for further analysis. So, in this regard, we need to understand that though civil registration system recording of births and deaths are very important because at ground level, especially at local level like in panchayats or in rural areas, when it is not carried out properly, it becomes a very difficult for its accuracy. If we detail out the various items that are in the registration records are very important for us to understand its importance. For instance, in the area of births and stillbirths, the major characteristics like date of registration, date of birth, sex, place of birth, order of live births, type of attention and delivery, they are all very vital for uh, reflecting on the fertility aspects and also uh, like births. For example, the date of registration clearly reflects on from the event that takes place a birth to date of registration is a very important aspect. Similarly, capturing the information related to date of birth reflects which month, which year and which date or which uh, place of uh, information that is there which reflects as date of birth is a very, very important for us to know an individual's uh, birth date. Similarly, the sex, when we want to calculate sex ratio at birth, and also when we want to know allocate various resources and infrastructure, the sex wise composition is very important. In that regard, community wise, there will be lot of changes or variations with respect to sex ratio. For that, how the cultural factors, 
socio-economic conditions are influencing sex differences are very important. In that way, the information related to sex at birth is very important for any community and in that regard, registration of this information is very important. Similarly, place of birth, place of birth because they, it reflects on the type of uh, facilities that are provided and also how the area wise differences in the birth rate occurs are very important for us to capture. That is why place of birth is another indicator or a characteristic which is very essential as part of understanding through civil registration system. At the same time, like information related to order of live births, that is another important aspect because it will reflect if the higher the birth order, it will show higher the fertility level in the community. Similarly, if the order of birth is very low, it indicates how the woman's status has improved, how the you know facilities that exist because in the health infrastructure and also the extent of uh, family planning coverage also is reflected. Similarly, the type of attention at a delivery because the antenatal, natal, postnatal care that comes out through reproductive and child health attention is uh, very important for us to capture and that is why the type of attention at delivery as an indicator is very important information. Similarly, the parents characteristics like mother, father, their educational level, their occupational status, their nationality, the religion and the age of the mother at confinement all have a very important dimensions of development that also reflects on the, the brought up of the child in terms of health conditions, in terms of the socio-economic and variations also will be very important for us to know. In the case of deaths, similar is the situation like date of registration because the death incidents when it occurs and the date of registration, what is the time lag that occurs is very important. Similar is the case with regard to the incident that occurred at which date is very important. Similarly is the case with regard to information on place of death, whether the place of death refers to rural or urban, whether it is uh, in the hospital setting or in the community setting is very important. At the same time, cause of death, because the cause which contributed for the death of that individual is very important. If it is a infectious diseases or whether it is a because of a, a chronological uh, uh, chronic health problems or is it because of uh, failures in the operations or it is it because of uh, water contamination or unsanitary facilities and what are those specific factors that contributed for the death is very important for us to understand. Similar is the case with regard to the type of medical attention received at the time of death and before or after the incident occurred, how the doctors and medical attention and from the medical personnel have played their role in registering and also paying, ma making an attempt of uh, providing a proper treatment is very, very essential for us to understand. And also the various characteristics of the disease in terms of the age of the disease, the sex, male, female wise, marital status of that person, the religious background, the nationality, the occupational status for the disease are very important for us to capture because how these socio-economic characteristics and the demographic characteristics have shown the differences in the mortality rates and also contributed for high incidence of mortality or low mortality is very essential for us. So overall, if we conclude by stating that though civil registration system is very essential and also it is a very important to capture vital rates like uh, births, deaths, marriages. It is a, in fact, in India, when we talk about rural urban differences, we need to understand that the vital registration system, especially in rural areas, is very poor 
and that is why the accuracy of the data is not to the extent that is there. And in this process, there is a lot of efforts that are required in educating the community members and also to see that more greater awareness creates that among the revenue officials about the importance of registering births and deaths. Unless we make a concerted efforts to bring this into the accurate level of information, the entire planning and also subsequent program of channelizing various uh, schemes and programs for the benefit of the people based on the vital events will become meaningless unless we make a concerted effort. In this regard, the civil registration system is playing a very important role and also provides a very able uh, system for us to understand the vital rates in the community.